we will, we will be free! For when the rising tide has turned in every London quarter, Parliament comes crashing down with Boris Rules of Order! Okay. Are you ready? Yes. I said no! Are you ready? Yes! Okay. <laughs> That's better. For the thousands of attendants and the millions upon millions watching around the world. And our, and our studio uh, audience. And our studio all, all, audience. All both of them. <laughs> Let's get ready to parliamentary. If you're not down for that, i got two words for you. Motion passes. Mm. Saturday, March 7th. That's what she said. <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with the date, but anyway. Oh, boy, okay, go on. This is our national secretary, <laughs> folks. Very dignified. Right. What's the question? Are you buzzed? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. Dilatory, what's the question? No, dilatory is your eyes when you're plastered. Um, yeah, no, dilatory, Mr. Yes. Star. Come on. <laughs> when debate for a member has been exhausted, he can still seek recognition for... Mm -hmm. A, moving the amendment or referral of a motion. B, speaking in the negative when other members want to speak in the affirmative. C, speaking in debate when all other members have finished their debate on the pending motion. D, explaining details to clarify an issue. A. I like, I like option E, yelling taxation is theft. Um. <laughs> Am I wrong? Would you say? A. You are correct. Okay. Yes. And I didn't even need you to repeat it. No, yeah, that was an easy one. Oh, yeah. When I get one right, it's the easy one. But we still If I know what it is, it's easy. <laughs> and I'm not the one studying for the test. you got to do this so I can't cheat, and, or you can't cheat, and see the answer. So put because you're a cheater. He's a cold-hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Oh, he's been telling lies. <laughs> All right, so you're reading? This is where I want to edit in the flaming middle finger. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, I can do that. I can arrange that. <laughs> I have that too. So, so. do I. <laughs> okay, so the answer to the question was A. Mm -hmm. See, he's looking how he's going to soundproof. <laughs> I, 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 listen, I'm telling you, we're, uh, all right, so. Um, Owen's Corning Fiberglass, and because it's her, pink side out. Owen's Corning Fiberglass will only take care of the sound waves, it won't take it away from the vibration, so I need to deaden the, the flooring before I put up the cones, Owen's Corning. Styrofoam panel. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I was thinking something more dense, like. Okay, the, we're. Like the, uh, the bodies of, the bodies of our enemies. Conan, what is best in life? Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and they hear the lamentation of the women. <laughs> Dilatory, Mr. Harlow's. As always. Um, so what page? 389. 389. And that's all it says, 389. Really? Oh, well, it starts on 388. Okay. Typically three Oh, words. number of speeches. Yeah. Okay, dokie. Number of speeches are the same question per member per day. Unless the assembly has a special rule providing otherwise, no member can speak more than twice to the same question on the same day, except that in the case of an appeal, only a presiding officer can speak twice, second time at the close of the debate, all other members being limited to one speech. Merely asking a question or making a brief suggestion is not counted as speaking in debate, nor is making, the, uh, making of a secondary motion counted as speaking in debate, asterisk, so long as in making the motion, the member makes no comment on the then pending question. It will be seen from this rule that if a debate on a pending motion is continued at the next meeting, and if that meeting is held on the same day, members who have already made two speeches on a question are not allowed to speak on it again without the Assembly's permission. But if the next meeting is held on another day, all members have the right to debate entirely renewed mm -hmm. with reference to that question. Under this rule, each debatable motion is a separate question with respect to members' rights to debate it. 
Thus, if a series of debatable questions is pending with a member has, for example, spoken twice that day while the main motion is immediately pending, he has exhausted his right to speak on the ma debate the main motion, but even on the same day, he can still speak twice on a motion to postpone the main question indefinitely, and twice on each amendment that may be moved, and so on. Here's my question, though. Yes. If, so you have the main motion. Yes. Let's say it went through multiple amendments. Yep. That passed. Yep. So then it's a different main motion, right? Um, I would argue that yes, it is. Depending upon the nature of the amendments. Well, yeah, that's true, too. But if they're substantive amendments, I think they get their two speeches again. Because it just changed. Because amendments could really change the main motion. Now, this is interesting. One more line here. As noted under the rules for assigning the floor, however, a member cannot make a second speech on the same question the same day until every member who was desired to speak on it has the opportunity to yeah. do so once. Yeah, we okay, never follow so, that, but I know it. So that eliminates the... Uh, that eliminates item C, because item C is not right. Right. Now, here's the asterisk I mentioned. Thus, a member who has exhausted the number of speeches permitted him on a main motion may still seek recognition to move its referral or amendment, for example. In such a case, the chair would grant limited recognition by saying the member has exhausted the right to debate for what purpose does he rise. Right. So. And... The L and C, we allow people to speak as many times as they want, basically. Small committee rules? <laughs> no, I just, it's probably in our policy manual, or we just don't care. Mm. I'm going to look that up, but Nick does put order and preference of people who haven't yet spoken. Oh, yeah. But I learned something. What's that? In appeal, I didn't know except for the chair members are limited to one speech, we usually let them go on and on, too. So I'm going to look this up in our policy well, manual. The presenting officer speaking twice in appeal makes sense because they get the right, final Right, first word. and last. Right. But everyone else can only speak once. Which I didn't realize either. I didn't know that. So I'm going to have to look that up yeah. in the policy manual, mm -hmm. just like with the rising boat, which really, like... But getting back to the original question, okay, if you have a main motion, you're allowed to speak twice on it. Right. Okay. And then, if it gets amended, you can speak twice on the amendment. Right. And, but if the amendment passes... And substantially changes the main, the main motion, motion. The do question is, does that mean that the person's right to speak has already been exhausted, or is it reset? I would say it reset. And here's the other question I have. Okay, this limits the number of speeches the same question per member per day. Mm -hmm. What if you have multiple meetings in the same day on the same question? It says that right here. What was that? It, it was right... Um, if the meeting held the same day, members right. already made two speeches and the question are not allowed. Right. Yeah, okay. But it doesn't say anything about when the main motion is... When, I think when you say this is now the main motion, it's a new main motion. Probably, yes. But I think this is something I might need to bring to the temple. It's an important question, yeah. I don't have that many goats. Why not? So I'm going to have, yeah. So bring some cactus. Um. Yeah, or I thought you were going to say cat. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you really hate cats that much. But no, they're busy with cat scans for coronavirus. <laughs> he makes a lot of really bad jokes. Okay, well. Well, you can't, well, you can't, he likes them. Well, you he can't use them. dogs because the dogs are all involved in the lab work. Fever. Let's hear the opposition side Like a stubborn donkey's bray All opposed, you say nay Opposed, opposed The motion carries anyway